Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and in this video, we're checking out Sony's UWPD wireless microphone systems. The UWPD is the successor to Sony's UWP V series, and it's designed to meet the demanding standards of ENG work while still being really easy to use and offering a wide switching RF bandwidth. Now, there are three packages in the series to choose from. The UWPD 11 features a lavalier microphone, a body pack transmitter, and portable receiver. We're actually using it right now to record my voice to our camera's audio tracks. The UWPD-12 features a handheld transmitter and dynamic microphone in the portable receiver. The UWPD-16 package features the lav mic with the body pack transmitter and receiver and also includes a plug-on transmitter allowing you to attach a handheld mic of your choice. The build quality on these is great. The transmitters and receivers have very nice metal housing and feel really solid and durable with a nicely designed little battery compartment for the two AA's, although you can also power them through the Micro-B USB connection. Now, if you're using NIMH batteries, you can also recharge them via the USB port. Those two AA's will power the receivers for about six hours and the transmitters for up to eight. All the transmitters and receivers feature easy to read LCD displays for channel and frequency information, reception level, remaining battery power, and other information. LEDs also indicate RF problems, audio signal, and battery life at a glance. The UWPD series is an analog and digital hybrid designed for improved sound technology. And basically what that means is that it uses a digital rather than an analog compander, first on the transmitter end to compress the signal for transmission via UHF, and then on the receiver end to expand the signal. The improved sound quality is most noticeable on short transient sounds that are reproduced better on a digital compander than an analog one. Now let's take a closer look at the UWPD-11 package featuring the ECM V1 BMP lavalier microphone that you're hearing now. It's a very solid feeling omnidirectional lav and the included windscreen fits very securely. I've actually used other lavs where the windscreen easily comes off so this is a really nice touch. And of course a lapel clip is included. The mic plugs into the body pack transmitter which can also accommodate line level inputs as well. Setting the UHF channel frequency using Sony's clear channel scan scan function is really easy. Power the receiver up, use the plus and minus buttons to cursor to the auto set page, and press the set button for at least one second. Then confirm with a second quick press, and the receiver will scan the available channels and choose a frequency with no RF interference, say from another wireless device or perhaps a TV station. The frequency information is then sent to the transmitter via the infrared sensors on the sides, so you'll want to line those up and get the units within eight inches of each other. Of course, you can also set the channels manually as well. You can, of course, use two or more WPD packages at the same time. Just make sure that they're set to different channels within the same channel group, and again, the clear channel scan function makes finding open channels in the same group easy, and with the sync function, you can transmit group and channel settings from the receiver to the transmitter quite easily. On the other hand, if you're using two receivers, both picking up the signal from a single transmitter, you can use the active channel scan function to lock the second receiver to the same channel. The ease of use means that even if you don't have a lot of experience with wireless systems, you can be up and running really quickly with the UWPD series. The body pack transmitter has an attachable belt clip that I'm using now, while the receiver can be mounted directly to your camera using the included shoe mount adapter. Sony also makes the SMAD V1 and a soft case for vertically mounting the receiver if your camcorder can accommodate it. Alternatively, you can use the soft case to mount the receiver to the handle of your camcorder. Of course, a mini-to-mini -mini cable is included to send the signal out to your camera's audio input, as well as a mini-to-XLR cable, say if you're using it with a camcorder or portable audio recorder that has an XLR input. A nice touch on the receiver is the adjustable output level, which offers 24 dB of volume control adjustable in 3 dB increments. Now obviously, if the signal from the receiver is overloading your recording device, you can lower the output, but if you're using the UWPD series with a DSLR or other camera, you can try increasing the output on the receiver and lowering the level on the DSLR's mic input to get less hiss from the camera's noisy preamps. There's also a headphone jack on the receiver with a separate volume control 
control for monitoring. And that's especially handy if your camera doesn't have a headphone jack. Now you'll notice that the receiver has two antennas, which is because it's a true diversity receiver. That means the receiver compares the signal coming from both antennas and uses the stronger one. You can also adjust the angle of the antennas, which is a nice touch. The system also features a pilot tone squelch, which helps reduce RF when there's no audio coming through the system. Also nice is the fact that the UWPD series is compatible with Sony's UWP V series and Sony's WL800 series. In other words, those older transmitters and receivers will work with the UWPD transmitters and receivers. Now, as I mentioned, in addition to the D11 package that we've been checking out, Sony also offers the UWPD12 package, which replaces the body pack transmitter and lavalier mic with the UTX M03 handheld microphone transmitter. And as you can see, I'm using it now to record my voice for this part of the video. A nice feature with the mic transmitter is that you can swap out the unidirectional mic head that comes with it for other models. If you'd like to use a different mic capsule, say if you prefer to use the F31 hypercardioid capsule, the F32 wide cardioid capsule, or the CUC31 cardioid condenser capsule. Unscrewing the outer casing reveals the battery compartment, controls for the settings, and the infrared sensor to sync with the receiver. A mic holder is also included if you want to mount the mic to a stand. With the UWP D16 package, you get the lav mic, transmitter, and receiver that we looked at with the D11 package, but in addition, it includes the UTX P03 plug-on transmitter. The plug-on transmitter allows you to plug in the dynamic mic of your choice. Right now, we have an Audio-Technica AT8004L omnidirectional dynamic mic plugged in, and that's what you're hearing. In addition, though, the transmitter offers optional 48 volts phantom power if you'd like to use a condenser microphone, and a case for the plug-on transmitter is also included. In addition to those three packages from Sony, B&H also offers several kits that feature the UWPD series, like the integrated digital dual combo wireless ENG basic kit that you're looking at now. With this setup, you get two lav mics, two body pack transmitters, two portable receivers, the plug-on transmitter with case, the AT8004L mic that we heard earlier, a V-bracket shoe mount for camera mounting, and a tough Pelican case to carry it all around in. Before we wrap it up, I should point out that wireless UHF systems are sold in frequency blocks, so you need to choose a package that has open channels available in your area. The system we're using today, for example, covers UHF channels 14 to 25, or in frequencies that's 470 to 542 megahertz. Google, Spectrum Bridge, Telecordia, and KeyBridge all offer online databases that I can consult to see if that frequency block is right for my area, which in this case is New York City. On Telecordia's iConnective site, for example, I'll enter in the address of the BNH Superstore, and since this is a very populated area, it's pretty crowded out there, but it looks like I've got some frequencies on channels 22 and 42 to work with, as those have been allocated for wireless microphone use. Since channel 22 is in my frequency block for this package, I'm good to go. So hopefully that gives you a pretty reasonable overview of Sony's UWPD wireless microphone systems. I'm Rob from B&H, and thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.